Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Vitale, and I'm here to talk for a minute or two about Napoleon Hill. I'm a big fan of Napoleon Hill. If you don't know who he is, and amazingly, some people don't, he wrote one of the all-time bestsellers in the world, Think and Grow Rich. It's still in print. It came out in the 1930s during a Great Depression. The book has been a record-breaking bestseller. I love Napoleon Hill. I collect his works, and in fact, this particular edition was signed by him. That's pretty rare. I don't know if he signed that many books, but it's pretty difficult to find signed books by the fellow. I actually have several of them at this point. But Think and Grow Rich is his cornerstone book. It's his most popular book. It's the one most people read. And I have to tell you, more people have become millionaires because of this book than any other book that's ever been written that I can think of. Think and Grow Rich, many people have read it 30, 40, even 50 times. I've read it a handful of times. Uh, I have seen reduced or condensed abridged versions of it out in the world. This is a book that everybody needs to read because Napoleon Hill went and interviewed, I think, something like 20 different experts, including Andrew Carnegie, to find out the formula for success. But I, I need to tell you a secret. Even though Napoleon Hill wrote this book after interviewing all these people, and even though this book is a bestseller, even though this book's still in print, even though Think and Grow Rich is something everybody needs to read, and many people read dozens of times, as I said, even 50 times, it doesn't contain the secret to success. That's the grand joke with all of this. This is in many ways a sales letter. Think and Grow Rich is a long sales letter to get you excited. Yes, there's tips in here. The whole concept of knowing your divine purpose, which is central to this book, is something you need to know. So you have to read this book just to understand that and to start thinking about that. But Napoleon Hill's greater work are his laws of success. When he talked about the 16 laws of success and he's written the books including the laws of success, that's where he revealed the formula. That's where he started to tell people how to actually think and grow rich, how to actually attract money. Many people even speculate that in this book, he never really tells you the secret, and they wonder, is it the law of attraction? Well, he uses the phrase law of attraction in the book a couple of times, but we don't really know what he meant when he wrote this book, because as I say, the grand secret here, the great joke, is that this is a sales letter. He wanted you to read his other books, including The Laws of Success. So I'm here to tell you, yes, read Think and Grow Rich. Yes, read the other material by Napoleon Hill. Yes, collect his books, and if you can find an autographed one, great, get an autographed copy. But what's more important is that you read his Laws of Success. That's the juice. That's the meat. That's the formula, if you will, that will actually cause you to attract money into your life. You must read that if you want to see a difference in your life. So I'm just here to say, hey, read Napoleon Hill, but don't stop at Think and Grow Rich. Go and read his Laws of Success, and even more importantly, use them, implement them, do them. Remember my favorite phrase, money like speed. I would quickly go and get this book, read this book, and then quickly go and get the Laws of Success, read that, study that, absorb that, use it in your life, and then watch because you will truly think and grow rich.